2021 Toyota Mirai, fuel cell, hydrogen car. I had to do a video on this one, even though I'm not doing the air conditioning. This has, look at all the nice orangey things. Isn't orange good? Get your little probe meter and like push right through the wires and back probe and take voltage testing. Uh, just joking. Uh, so, okay, so on this one, you see this little rubber tube? You go, oh, okay, for the windshield wipers or, or maybe it's for the wipers on the, the headlights. That would be, I mean, look it, you got a, a washer fluid right here and you got a tube going down there, right? First thought, no. Barrel sensors, pressure. See, when I squeeze this, that changes the uh, pressure sensor inside this unit. And there's another little barrel sensor over here and it does a differential. This is a collision. This goes out here and it goes inside, you know, the styrofoam part out here. Well, I've seen this kind of stuff because Europe is really big on consumer, on public safety about collisions and getting hit. So here's what it does. You get hit right here. This tube is right here. The tube gets crunched. That sends off a sensor. The sensor goes to the computer. The computer sends out a signal for these little hydraulic units that are spring tension or hydraulic units that are right here. One right there, one right here. Basically like an airbag before you hit the hood because you just got your collision right here and you're gonna go over it doesn't want you to hit the windshield down here. So what it does is it blows up the rear of the hood up like this. So it makes you have an angle of the hood to get your body to go over the top of the car instead of smashing right in and you know breaking your head or getting more injured. That's what that is. But what that does, here's the thing. These are, these were $1,700 or $1,400 a piece. You remember? $1,800 a piece. This, $1,800 a piece. Just in case you hit somebody's dog, it's gonna be over $4,000. You have to change these barrel sensors and they come connected with this tube and you can't mess with it. You have to change the PCM, the motor, the, the computer inside. Remember the early days of airbags where you had to change everything? Well, that's what this is. It's over a four grand hit just because you hit somebody right here, not even the damage, this damage, the damage to anything else, not even including that. Just this system is four grand to reset and redo and everything like that. Just discovered that right now on the Toyota Mirage. And uh, let's take a, another look at this amazing piece of uh, work here, sculpture, CNC, a lot of casting, beautiful. I, I do like it. Uh, let's take a look at this coolant system here. What do you notice right here? It looks like there's a filter in there, like on big rigs. It says open, close, even gives you 20 Newton meters to torque it at. Uh, looks like there's a sensor or an electric pump at the bottom. And that's just doing a, a quick rough scan with my eyes right now. But on big rigs, they would have filters in the coolant system. And on big rigs, big trucks, semis, uh, I think back in, over on the other side of the pond, you guys call them lorries. On your lorries, I don't know if they do that there, you would have a zinc anode rod that would be attached in some of the filter housings. So it would sacrifice itself instead of uh, corrosion and uh, electrolysis taking place inside the coolant systems, they used to have zinc anode rods inside of, on top of a filter that you would change. That's why you could go a half a million miles or more on a coolant system on a big rig truck, as we call them, tractor trailer here, because you'd, you would change the filter, you would change the anode rod, but you could keep the same coolant in there for a really long extended period of time. And, uh, now I gotta put that back in there, but I'll do that after I do the vehicle. Yes, uh, amazing, a hydrogen vehicle is an amazing, amazing uh, marvel that we've come out with. And there's debate whether it's uh, efficient or not. And if you know the rules of uh, energy and losses, every time you transfer an energy from one form of energy to another form of energy, there's always losses. But I won't get into that physics on that. That's for other people to debate. I guess this must be your fuel. I, I wanna see one of these torn apart. And can you imagine what would happen if you got the fuel cell and you got a few tanks of say oxygen Get a couple of these tanks. 
put some, uh, you know, your dynamite zip cord around them and around the hydrogen fuel sign so it could cut through both the hydrogen tank and the liquid oxygen tanks simultaneously. Can you imagine the explosion? It would probably clear about three square blocks in a circle around one of these. You could weaponize them if a terrorist wants to. Um, yeah, terrorist attack, exactly. Yeah, that's my instruction school. Uh, now this is simple, simple high school physics. Uh, but it's amazing that we can literally go around on a mini hydrogen bomb. All right, guys, I'll see you guys later. I definitely want to test ride one of these. But, uh, all right, I'll see ya. Fuel cell. I think I love them. Uh, wouldn't want to buy one. They're a little bit pricey. And um, getting fuel cell stations is a little spotty, kind of like when electric vehicles started out. It was hard to get a charging station for your electric vehicle. Well, we have fuel cells, and now we need fuel cell stations. We have one. I've seen one or two around. See you guys.